this is not a clock. You can't tell what time it is, but you can tell one thing. You can tell if the Earth rotates on its axis because of this experiment that was done in 1853 by Foucault, a French physicist named Foucault. Now, how does this work? In? The peg is going to be knocked down about every seven or eight minutes. There, there goes one right there. Uh, hopefully you caught that. If not, we'll wait another seven minutes. This is a 240 pound ball that goes back and forth and back and forth. When you put an object in motion, an object stays in motion at the first law of inertia. There are forces on this ball. The only forces are gravity, energy, and the tension force in the cable. There's no lateral force to go that way. So how is it that these pegs are being knocked down? Well, Foucault figured out that it's not the ball that's moving this way, but it's the ground beneath our feet that's moving this way. So this, as the Earth rotates, this floor, this building, all of us, we also rotate. We're rotating in this direction. So this ball goes back and forth, and as it goes back and forth, the Earth rotates, and as the Earth rotates, it's bringing those pegs into the path of that ball that's just gonna go back and forth like this. If we could speed up time and hold on to this, we would all spin around this thing that is still gonna be going this direction. So it seems like it's going that way. We are all actually going that way. And that is the proof and the final evidence that the Earth actually rotates. Because if it didn't, no pegs would be knocked down. One peg and that's it. This is called the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect is what causes storms to rotate counterclockwise north of the um, equator and clockwise south of the equator. Water drains this way, water below the equator drains the other way. If this pendulum were below the equator, instead of rotating this way, this entire thing would be rotating this way. So that's what's happening. Again, this ball is going back and forth. The earth is rotating underneath it. And as the earth moves, it's moving those pegs into the path of this pendulum. Now a common question, of course, is if this is attached to the building and everything, why doesn't this move with it? And it does. This also goes back and forth. You can put an, I thought I had my badge on me, but you can put an object in motion like that and it can still rotate. That ball is still moving this way, but this motion is the important motion. And that's why that's a, such a heavy ball because the rotation gets dampened out by this motion. So this motion is the key motion. That ball in the ground, everything's moving this way. It's kind of going like this. And that proves that the earth is rotating. Again, those things are going to go the back. It takes 42 hours for it to go around one time. Though if this were on the North Pole, we all know that the Earth takes 24 hours to rotate. So if this were on the North Pole, there would be 24 numbers on it. Because the ground would be, the Earth would be below you, rotate once, 24 hours. But we're in Los Angeles, it's wider here on the globe. The Coriolis effect works with centripetal, well, you just take the sine of your latitude, we're at 34 degrees, it's simple trigonometry. Take the sine of your latitude, divide that into 24 hours, and you'll get 42. In San Francisco, they're further north, uh, so they're, they have about 37 hours on their pendulum. The sine, if you recall, 90 is 1, so if this were on the North Pole, you'd have 24 hours on the clock. So that's it. We keep it in motion with an electromagnet. There's a very strong electromagnet up there. That round object is a magnet. And so when this gets very close to the edge of the magnet up there, the, the top of the swing, it gives it a little magnetic pull every single time. If we were quiet enough, you would all hear a little click. Um, an optical sensor turns on the magnet up there so it doesn't disrupt the motion of this ball. So that's how it works. Again, this proves that the Earth rotates. Um, it's using the Coriolis effect, which is how it affects storms. And we use a magnet to keep it going. And I'll just do this one more time. It goes back and forth. The Earth rotates underneath it. It stays in this motion as a rotation. And that's how those pegs are being knocked down. So I don't have any questions about the Pico pendulum. We built it here in 1935. We built it here first because it shows that the Earth does rotate. Um, and then we built the rest of the thing. I had nothing to do with that construction. Though. It's a long time ago. All right, thank you guys. Have a good night. No so it takes, thank you. So it takes uh, 42 hours for one turn. So do you need to change the direction of pendulum at noon every day, or we do? We uh, push it with a stick. Uh, okay. That's right. Thank you. Sure.